So I'm now up to the final step, which is taking the commands that I've just written, uh, saving them to a script file, and uploading that script file to S3 so that I'm able to do processing at a later date. Uh, before I do that, the first thing I'm going to do is save those script files to the local, the local disk of my interactive job flow and test them there. So to do that, I'm just going to use Vim and edit a local file. Uh, let's just call it script.pig. So I've saved all the earlier commands to a buffer. I'm just going to dump those in. Now the thing that I've got to do before I save it is to parameterize it. At the moment we've got both the, the load location and the store location to be hard-coded to local uh, pass on the file system. And obviously that's not what we're going to want. We want to be able to pass in parameters to this script whenever we run it. And to do parameters, PIG uses the Perl convention of dollar sign variables. So what I'm going to do now is just delete the hard-coded path and just convert it to a dollar sign output. And similarly on the input side, just remove the hard-coded load and convert that to a dollar sign input. I'm then going to save this file. So now to test the script that I've just written, I don't need to file up a new job flow. I can just invoke pig from the command line. Uh, again, I'm going to use pig local for uh, the quick turnaround. So now I need to define the parameters. To do that, I use the dash p option, and pig uses a k, uh, key equals value scheme. So I do uh, import equals, and then I want to do a local file. So the, the location here is just the, uh, the access log. Now I want to do the same thing on the output side, so dash p once again, output equals file, colon, slash, slash. And again, we just go home, head to output, and now we'll call it run one. Uh, the last thing that we want to do is, of course, define the script. So it's just home Hadoop uh, script.pig. Get rid of a space, and we're good to go. Uh, you see that I've made a typo here. Uh, I've used output, ra output rather than output, so I just need to change that. We see that our job flow has now run successfully, so we should just double check that the output looks right. It's in home Hadoop output run one, and it looks good. So, so we've got our script uh, that basically we'll, we'll do this uh, extraction of search terms anytime we want. So now we need to upload it to S3. Uh, the easiest way to do that is to use the uh, the Hadoop DFS command. It doesn't just do DFS, DFS commands, we can use it for, for other things. So the, the local thing is home Hadoop uh, script.pig. Now we need to select the S3 location that we want. Uh, this needs us to have an S3 bucket set up. Now S3 buckets is a global namespace. So everyone in the world has to, has to choose a unique bucket name. So if you've got a bucket already set up, you can just use that. Uh, if you don't have a bucket set up, you don't need to go to an external tool to set one up, but you will want to choose a fairly unique name uh, to be sure that it's going to work. Uh, I'm going to call mine, uh, let's just call it Ian Pig Demo. I'm fairly sure that's going to be unique. And I just want to call it script.pig. Uh, so what we've got wrong here is that we didn't actually give it a command. So you go Hadoop DFS, then we just want to go dash CP to actually tell it to copy. Uh, so now our next error is that we forgot the triple slash, and we're finally done. So now the script has been uploaded to S3, and we can use it any time, even after this job flow is shut down. So now we're going to go to the console and actually shut down the uh, terminate the job flow, interactive job flow. So that we just click the terminate job, and we click Yes, Terminate. So now my SSH session will be terminated and everything will shut down and I'll no longer be charged for the EC2 use.